Hello. Welcome to today. It's day five of a prayer challenge. So first we talked about empty yourself before God, praying for the four people, that is those individuals who are alone, those who are hurting, those who are prodigals, those who are in impossible situations. We pray for when we know we are not enough and we continue to ask. Today, I want to talk about today. I pray you are well today. Today is spiritual. Each day is a gift, and today is no exception. You and I have been given this gift of today. And I want to tell you that praying is not just daily. It should be candidly God offers us the opportunity to talk to him many times a day. You know, in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. That God will give us the strength and the blessing we need in this day to live this day. That we have intentional need of him, dependency, constantly. That's give us this day our daily bread. But the scripture writes in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it says, Pray without ceasing. We don't just have to pray or we can't just pray at one time, maybe in the morning or maybe at night or maybe before meals. We can pray in the middle of the day, in the middle of the difficulty, in the middle of the concern, in the middle of the uncertainty. We have the ability to pray. So if you will, daily is not enough. Because to pray without ceasing, I remember when I was a child, and I remember a, a teacher in my high school speaking about that, and I thought, what an interesting concept, to pray without ceasing. Did that mean I needed to stop all other activity, get down on my knees, fold my hands, close my eyes, and cry out before God? Well, I could have, but in fact, God hears us when we pray even on the inside, in the midst of the difficulty, in the midst of the uncertainty, in the immediacy of what we need, he blesses us. Even as I just got off the phone with James, I want to thank you so much for so many of you praying for James. He is home. He is getting better. And as I conversed with him just moments ago, actually, he said his doctor thought when he went into the hospital because he was already on oxygen and already compromised health-wise that this would not turn out well. But in fact, he acknowledged to him that James said God did this. And the doctor acknowledged that clearly there was intervention. Thank you for your prayers in his behalf. Continue to pray for James and his wife, Sam, that they continue to have strength as they get better. I, I encourage you in this prayer challenge, prayer is not a question of, do I know we need to do it? Is it just the information about prayer? It is the fact that we do it. And candidly, pray without ceasing is, you will never wear God out by praying. You can't say, I've already used up too many prayers. I, I've already met my limit. I, I've, already, I've, I've already done too much. I've wore out my welcome. It's not the way it works. God always wants to hear you. And in fact, the more you pray, the more you will pray. The more you will think of other people who need you to intervene for them. Daily is not enough. Moment by moment event by event, circumstance by circumstance, you and I can walk with the Lord. Even in this day, brand new difficulties that you had no idea about, or maybe some old ones that have been following you for a lifetime, we can pray. Please pray with me now. Lord God, we come before you and we give you thanks that you are always ready to listen to us, even when we are not ready to pray, and that you will never say you don't have time for us you won't, that you can't listen. For in fact, we honor you that in fact you want us to pray without ceasing and that you do give us this day our daily bread and that you are always ready to hear. Bless us in this day, Lord God. 
as we constantly come before you with the myriad of circumstances of our life and other people's lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God invites us to pray without ceasing. God's grace to you today.